Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed a Word document into a blog post or web page. Let's go ahead and take a look at this awesome sample document I have right here in the online version of Word. And I've accessed it through my OneDrive account. And so what I'm going to do is go over here on the left-hand side to the File menu, and I'm going to select Share, and then embed and that's going to pop up this little embed preview now let's look at the dimensions the dimensions for my document are really small a width of 288 that's or a height of 288 is the default and that's really small let's make it something like 600 pixels in height and we'll make it 550 pixels wide, basically about the width of a U of a typical YouTube video, or 560 is the typical width of a YouTube video. Now, for interactions, we can let people print the document if we want. We can also let people see the embed code if we want them to be able to embed it either, or also, and we can specify to start on page two if we wanted to, or page one, or just leave it at the default to go in order. Now, let's just copy that embed code. And let's take a look at how we can embed this into a blog post on EduBlogs. So I'm gonna use EduBlogs and here's my EduBlogs editor and there's my demo post already started. And I'm going to switch from the visual editor to the text editor and say here is, here is my sample document. And then I'm just going to paste in the embed code provided from my Word document. I'm going to add that post. And if we go ahead and preview it here, we'll see that it loads and shows our document. And we can scroll through that document. And we have options here to make it full screen if we want. And down here, people can get more information and make a copy of it, print it use accessibility mode and even get that embed information as well. And so now that I've previewed it, I can publish it on my EduBlogs blog. Now EduBlogs runs on a little bit older version of WordPress. If you're using a more current version of WordPress, using Gutenberg with the block editor, you're going to do something like this. You're going to use the custom HTML block, and then you're going to paste in that custom HTML. And that will then display your Word document embedded as part of your blog post. Now, if you're using Blogger, it's a similar process. We're going to say, this is my sample document. And I want to switch over to the HTML mode and paste in that HTML that, again, I got from my Word document. And when I publish that, we'll be able to see my demo post. Let's update that one more time. Let's go back and view that post. And there's my sample document embedded right there into my blog post. And finally, let's see how we do this in Google Sites. So in Google Sites, if you want to embed a Word document, just use the embed option over here, choose embed code, paste in the code you got from your Word document, and go ahead and hit next. And we'll see it right there. And we can insert it into our site. And what's nice about Google Sites is you can actually just click and drag to expand the size of that window as well. So that's how you can embed Word documents into blog posts and web pages. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please visit practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.